Brady Spears, Magic 97.7, 834, our time. Mike Barrett is joining us in the studio and does so every week. We call it Good Policies with Barrett Insurance. Mike, good morning. Hey, good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, thank you very much to you and Jan the best. I hope you guys have a good night tonight. I'm just really impressed that uh, I, I got the card yesterday. Um, <laughs> that was my number one goal was get the card before the day. And... Uh, <laughs> found one uh, from myself and then I found one that I had to get for my son to give to his mother and it says uh, 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 something of uh, a fan of love and Wi-Fi. I'm like, that's my son. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Staying connected. You know how many people out there don't even know what it's like to not have internet? We won't even go don't there. Don't even go there. All right, Valentine's Day. Let's have this chat. We've talked about it a little bit here over the last few months or so off and on when it comes to personal possessions and belongings. Just because you own it doesn't mean it's covered. I'm pretty sure somebody out there has bought a very impressive ring mm. for somebody. Yeah. Let's tell them how to keep that investment covered. It, there's a lot of types of personal property that have sublimits of coverage on a regular homeowner or a renter's insurance policy. And the one we're hitting on, the nail on the head today, because it is Valentine's Day, is jewelry. Why not? So it, jewelry is interesting, right? So um, it's an I call it an interpreted value or a variable value, uh, if you will. Okay, uh, you know where you can go and buy a ring for somebody for like fifteen hundred dollars, and all of a sudden uh, that ring gets appraised for twenty five hundred or three grand. You know, so that can happen. But why is it so important to not rely on an unendorsed homeowner policy to cover your jewelry? Here is your reason. If somebody came and stole all of your jewelry on an unendorsed homeowner policy, the most you're getting is $1,500. That is it, regardless of what the amount was. If they came in and swiped $10,000 worth of jewelry, here's your $1,500. That's all you're going to get. So can I guess on that that uh, it is their safe way to guesstimate it because there's literally no quote unquote inventory logging of these. Yeah, I mean, this is just a normal supplement that has no bearing or, or anything beyond that. Um, uh, endorse homeowner policy. Sometimes most of ours go to five thousand dollars, which we do regularly. We want to, we think at least five thousand dollars for theft of jewelry is important. But where it gets to be really important is specificity. All right, or specificity. Yeah, I can't talk. Um, but this ring right here, I always tell this story because it's very important and true. When I bought my uh, bride, when I got engaged, I bought Jen a diamond. And I said, now that I've gotten you a diamond, you'll have to get me one. Ha, 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 ha. And yeah. she did. She knew I wanted a titanium band. And guess what? The first titanium band she found had a diamond in it. So I have it. And I love it. Um, but if this diamond, if I was reaching into a freezer at White's next door, or if I was running uh, or biking on the rail trail in St. Johnsbury, and I get done, and I look at my ring, and my diamond is gone, I don't have coverage for it if it's not endorsed on my homeowner policy, because that would fall under mysterious disappearance. Don't know why, don't know how, don't know where. Um, so I would kind of be out of luck and have to cover it out of pocket. I have this scheduled on my homeowner policy. Why? Because I'm an insurance agent. That's what I do. Uh, but if this diamond in those same scenarios uh, are, uh, disappears, it's covered because mysterious disappearance is not excluded when you specifically schedule a piece of jewelry. And I'd have no deductible with the company that I'm with. So I would have complete repair of this ring at no money out of pocket for me. Well, you know, when you think about it, now I've never been married, so I never, I've only done this once in my life, yeah. okay? Bought the ring. Uh huh. Okay. It's my belief that it is customary or traditional that the man, when he purchases the ring, mm -hmm. should spend X number of dollars. That X number of dollars is about a month's salary for or what more. We understand. Yeah. Right. So that's a significant yeah. investment. Why would somebody not cover that? Exactly. That, because they don't know, right? That's why we're here. Um, and I'm talking here, my ring's just a couple of hundred dollar ring. But if you have a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 50, $100,000 ring, I mean, you got some serious stuff going on. And when you get to a certain limit, you know, if you have a ring that's like $1,500, $2,500, usually, uh, you know, you can appraisal is good. You get above 5000 Now they want an appraisal. They want a photograph. They want so much more information. And why is that so important? Because they need to know the cut, the clarity, the color. And the carrot, the four C's. My wife would be so proud that I remembered those this morning. Um, you know, they need to know that 
because that's what they're going to replace if you have it specifically scheduled. What kind of metal is it? Is it gold? Is it white gold? No such thing as white gold. It's just gold with rhodium on it. Um, but, you know, there there's a lot of detail that would be on there so that a company could figure it out. And most importantly, the limit. They're going to know that you have up to, and that's the thing, a limit is a maximum amount, right? So if you're scheduling a ring for up to $10,000, if the company can replace that ring for the four C's, everything matching perfectly for less, Yes, they will, but know that you would have up to that limit and have almost, I mean, I can't think of an exclusion that would impact you adversely if you specifically schedule it versus not having it listed at all. And it's very inexpensive to do. Now, a lot of folks will go online to a jeweler and buy a ring. And uh -huh. usually that means there's an inventory of them. They're all pretty much identical. I mean, except for the stone, right? Mm -hmm. So like one of our recent clients here, Fred Little, very, very well-known jeweler yes. in the area. Okay. Now everything he makes custom is a one-off yeah you know so that's why you're talking about your five digits yeah now you're getting more and more and more and more and then the appraisal is going to have all of those details on there and that's going to be the baseline for the company to start with if you lost the ring damaged the ring lost the diamond lost one chip whatever the case may be maybe you got married and you're on your honeymoon and some sandy fun place somewhere and you're swimming and the ring came off <gasps> You know, I mean, these things happen. They happen worldwide. And to have it specifically scheduled. And, Jeff, we're not talking a significant amount of money here either. We're talking 10 15 20 30 40 50 dollars in that range for the more common denominations of, of jewelry value that we're talking about. Well, as we're getting towards the end of this here, I'm going to share with you a story that I just heard. Uh -huh. Okay. You said anywhere around the world, things can happen. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this fella in Australia, days, spent days on a proposal billboards, radio, all kinds of stuff, right? Wow. Leading up to the big day where he's got his significant other out there in Australia on the beach. Yesterday, Valentine's Day, he dropped to his knee to propose to her. He dropped the ring in the sand. Gone. Three and a half plus hours. He and all of his friends dug for it. Did they find it, I hope? They finally did, but yeah. I mean, these are the kind I guess of the other question happened. is, did she say yes, or did she go, all right, man, Butterfingers, no, not happening, dude. The dinger is, he's, she said yes. Okay, so. that's the dinger. I love it. All right. So there was, real quick, there was another one that I saw, a, 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 a boyfriend and girlfriend parasailing. All right, so they're in the kite, they're behind the boat, they're up in the air, and he goes to propose to her, and he drops the ring, and she freaks out. It was a dummy ring. He did it to be funny, so... I want to be best friends with that guy because that's that's something I would do. So. All right. Good policies for your Valentine's Day, Mike. How can folks get in touch with you for all of their insurance needs? Sure. Give us a call. 748-5224. You can find us on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury online, thebarrettagency.com. Google Facebook and YouTube. Just look for Barrett Insurance Agency. And Magic in the Morning at 835 on Tuesdays. You got it. Mike, have a great time tonight. Okay? Yes. Yes, you do. I'm going to buy Jed an egg. I was thinking roses or an egg. They're about the same price right now, so I'm going to do the egg. <laughs> so we can have dinner. Music from Carly Ray Jepsen now on Magic.